It's 5.30 in the morning. Just now rendering the vlog. Hadn't even started the upload yet. It's the way she goes. Just been uh, sitting here, my 45% left on the render. I want a cigarette. What'd you guys think of the intro yesterday? Pretty kaife? Yeah, I know, I know. Just something I was playing with back in the day that I found on my laptop and said, Maybe I'll give that a try. So I did. So I did. Just chatting with a guy here on Steam who goes by the name Champ. Uh, right on. And, uh, I'm gonna go outside for a cigarette and welcome to my vlog. Friggin' laser kitty. Well, she definitely is getting colder out, that's for sure. It was snowing. Now it's stopped. I guess you can call it snowing. I guess you'd call it dusting. A light dusting. A light one, people. Not a heavy dusting. A light dusting. So yeah, late night is late. Probably gonna be a late morning tomorrow too, eh? So that's eh, just the way she goes. That's what happens when you stay up all night and friggin' drink two cups of coffee at the Hortons and get home and you're not tired. Even though my muscles are tired. Friggin'. Friggin'. One day winter will hit and I'll have a use for my snowblower. I guess we'll have to wait for that to happen. At least the wind cancellation on this thing's a lot better than it was on my other cameras. Well, I think it's better. I watched the video the stuff put out about his uh, Christmas decorations on his truck and uh, he had a problem where he couldn't turn off the light and he thought he had to stop videotaping to do that. I'm gonna have to show him, well, I'm gonna be doing an, uh, a video on the Northern Tech for this camera showing how it works and uh, I'm bring, probably gonna use the other camera to film with. <laughs> so that'll be all right. And then uh, I'm gonna do a video on how to go through the controls and all that. And it should be pretty interesting. I'll show you how to navigate around this camera and stuff. I use the light a lot myself because it helps the scene pop a bit more, I find. Sorry if I'm shivering, people. It's freaking cold out right now. Son of a bitch. But yeah, so far I'm really loving this camera. It's a lot better than the uh, V100 because it doesn't have the V100 doesn't have the video light, and it also doesn't have the 60P, which I don't really use. But it doesn't have it. So so far I have to say. This was the best purchase I made, but I wish I would have waited and got the one from Future Shop and then I wouldn't have had to spend 200 bucks on this one. But I was kind of hoping I was going to get my camera back fixed from Future Shop because I really wanted to do a camera battle TM80 versus V500 because this is the predecessor to the TM80. When they canceled that product line, they came out with this line and I really wanted to see the difference between the two in video quality because this one here has the bigger sensor and I wanted to see if it made a difference. Yeah, that's the way she goes. Anyway, I'm heading back inside. It's freaking cold out. Stupid cold. Welcome to the north. Alrighty, people. It's freaking Wednesday afternoon, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm just pulling my ass out of bed. Actually, I've been up since about 12.30, but then I got on the Skype and I was chatting with JP about things. And, um... Then I had things to deal with, and now things are dealt with. So, onward, pounding into glory ride. Sign of the hammer, be my guide. And other things. I don't know what that means. Just a man of war lyrics. Go with it. Um, yeah, so friggin' we're good. We're good. Uh, ready to rock and roll, get today started and stuff. So I got an email from the Juggalo Vlogs uh, in regards to my comment I made yesterday in the car about uh, YouTube is doing direct deposits and even if you're with a network with PayPal, you have to basically get the money, you have to take it and put it into your bank account. So you still need a bank account, right? Well, he sends me an email about this thing called wiredplastic.com, which is basically one of those prepaid credit cards. However, you can deposit PayPal money into it and use this credit card like a regular credit card. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a fee attached to it, probably some monthly interest of retarded amounts, like friggin' probably like a 26% interest rate, or they probably take like six bucks a month for the service or something like that, because it's a Western Union-based item. And I know that, that I used to use that Money Mart up the road because I didn't have a credit card, and I used to use them for a credit card. So you get a prepaid credit card, and you'd walk in there, give them the credit card, give them a hundred bucks, they would take the credit card, swipe it, load a hundred bucks on it, and every month it would get charged like seven dollar service charge. So if you didn't use that credit card, let's say in 
oh frig, like in like 12 months you would have four dollars left on it from your hundred dollars because every month it would take seven bucks off of it so yeah it would just, it's just like or six bucks sorry that's all you'd have left on is six bucks so it's one of those things where it's good if you have nowhere to put the money but it's bad if you don't ever use the money because you're just giving it to western union so i don't know i think it's kind of a cool idea like i I'm hoping that, like right now I know PayPal, you can, like anybody in the US, they can get a debit card through PayPal and use PayPal as a bank account. And you know, you can go to the corner store and buy like a friggin' bag of chips or pop or something and pay with PayPal. And pay with PayPal. And pay with PayPal. That's kind of cool. But they don't have that available in, in Canada yet and I'm kind of anxious for them to get that in Canada because, you know, with all these networks, YouTube networks, like even RPM, uh, they're, they're partnering anybody, right? And I think they pay you out as soon as you breach $15. Uh, if you don't want the money to stay in PayPal, you want to actually have it in your bank account, you don't have a bank account, like you want the cash on hand, well then that little debit card's a good thing to have. And um, I don't know, it'd be kind of neat to have that as a secondary account, like, you know, my PayPal. Have it as a secondary account, use that for other things, and yeah, it'd be pretty neat. Like, you couldn't pay bills with it, but I could use it as my, uh, my fund money and focus my entire work paycheck check on paying this place off and burning down bills you know um, mind you I don't really make that much from the YouTubes but uh, it'd be it'd be alright for like you know putting gas in the car but right now what I end up doing is like with PayPal when you transfer the money from your PayPal to your bank account it takes like up to five days so and it's not just five days it's five business days so if you do it on a Saturday it might not be till next Friday when the money's in your account kind of a pain in the ass but you know what else? I don't want to really want to talk about that today though I don't know what I want to talk about today is gonna be one of those days because I have no idea what the frig's going on so uh, yeah just gonna freaking get it today is Wednesday so tomorrow is theoretically my Friday I don't know if you can see but it's freaking snowing out again well blowing dusting I guess dusting snow he's back in the same spot yeah so it's comfy why do you sit there? Because it's a really, 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 really comfy spot. It is a comfy spot, eh? No, sure it is, so leave me alone. Okay, well, as long as you're comfy and happy, and that's all I care about. Yeah, I'm comfy and happy. You're so funny. You're funny. But yeah, it is uh, Thursday, so, or Wednesday, so theoretically it's Thursday for me. Uh, tomorrow's like my Friday, because Friday I'll be getting drunk at the friggin' Best Western, so that'll be alright. And Saturday we got another Christmas party to go to. Uh, it's her family Christmas party, so I have no idea what the vlog will be like on Saturday. Just go with it. Oh, fluffy kitten. And yeah. Just gonna uh, freaking have at her. Still waiting for my gung-ho to show up. That case of gung-ho I ordered. Can't wait for that to show up and uh, see how well this stuff actually works for me, giving me focus like a ninja. Or ninja-like focus, I do apologize. Because uh, let me tell you, I hope it's here before Christmas because I'm going to need that shit to make it through the holidays. Well, let me tell you a little something about that. Anyway, I'm going outside. For a second. And I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace out. Yeah, she's blowing like a son of a goof out here. I'm not sure how much vlogging I'm going to get done tonight, but... Oh, dude. Come on. Focus. Freaking can jet airplane. Hell yeah. Oh, freaking pillar gone. Oh, it's gone. I was gonna try to zoom in more. I was only at 20x. You know, if I can do a moon zoom, I was gonna try and do a locked in friggin' zoom and see if I can zoom into the window and see if I can see anybody with their head tucked underneath their legs. You never know. That's something I can do now that I got this camcorder. I can zoom in on airplanes. Freaking right on. She's getting cooler out. Winter's a coming again. So I got mixed reviews on yesterday's intro. That was an intro I made a while back and I was tempted to use it. But then I did the burnout and said, you know what? I need to use the burnout intro because it was badass. So yeah, I, <laughs> I just threw that intro in for shits and giggles to see what kind of a, kind of a response I get. And uh, kind of a mixed feeling about that one. Oh well, it's the way she goes. <laughs> Who's a fluffy kid? Christ, what the fuck's your problem? Jesus Christ, why? Cause you're cute. Leave me alone with that camera already. Come on. You're cute. You're cute, kitten. You're cute, kitten. Still make those tough bitch. I'm sorry. <laughs> You'd swear I was hyper on coffee or something. <laughs> so just a heads up, people. That wired plastic thing I was talking about, apparently it's only for U.S. citizens as well. I just got confirmation from the Juggalo Vlog, uh, Juggalo Vlogs, that uh, it's U.S. only. He already called them and found out that uh, they don't do Canada. So for shits and giggles, I went browsing around and I couldn't find anything for Canada. Everything seems to be U.S. So if you're a Canadian and you have AdSense or PayPal and you want to get the money in your hands, you're kind of shit out of luck if you don't have a bank account. So you got to get a bank account. And I know some people who can't get bank accounts because if they do, the government will garnish it. So yeah, they're kind of 
not going to be happy about that, but uh, fuck, it's the way she goes. So I'm sitting here watching uh, Wilson Tech 1 here, Lamar Wilson, uh, his freaking video, and uh, he just announced that texting turned 20 today. So apparently December 5th, 2002, no, December 5th, 1992 is when texting was available. I guess in the US, I don't know. Like I said yesterday, my old phone didn't have texting. I don't even think it had a screen. Uh, it was an ancient phone. I really gotta find that phone. Cause I gotta show you guys that thing. It was friggin' ugly. Had a pull out antenna and everything. It was nasty. But it didn't have a screen on it. Uh, so you couldn't see what number you're dialing. You basically had to hope you dialed the right number. When you called it, if you got the wrong number, you're like, oh shit, do apologize, you know, try again. So, uh, but yeah, I'm just watching this video now. And yeah, so texting turned 20 today. Happy birthday, texting. You know that feeling you get when a really big YouTuber replies to your comments? I got that feeling right now. So I said, uh, I was talking about that texting turn 20 thing, right? I was watching uh, Lamar uh, Wilson Tech 1, Lamar Wilson's video. When uh, he actually replied to my comment, I was like, yeah, I was texting with my dad the other day and he responded, LOL. And I was kind of like, <laughs> you know? <laughs> And he actually replied to me. Like, holy shit, that's freaking awesome. He replied, Lamar Wilson, it's a horrible experience. <laughs> yup, especially when your parents start using freaking internet lingo. It's uh, quite the thing, for sure. For sure. Especially knowing that my dad has a better phone than I do, for frig sakes. Dad's rocking the Sony Xperia Ice or something like that. It's got a quad core 1.5 gigahertz with a 14 megapixel camera out back running Android 4.1. And it's a nice freaking phone. And it's way better than my iPhone 4, that's that's for sure. So it's like, freak sakes, Dad, you got better technology than I do. This is not right. Especially when he replies back, LOL. Yeah, I know, Dad's probably watching this going, you know, he's probably just sitting there laughing his ball bag off going, ha, 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 I embarrassed my son. You know, because he's like that. Oh, well. It's the way she goes. Alrighty, people, well, it's friggin' 3.30. I gotta head my ass into work. Gotta make that paycheck so I can afford to friggin' do stuff. You know, like pay bills and stuff. So, yeah, let's get her ass into work. I gotta grab a bag of some sort, because I'm gonna bring uh, this dirty old netbook with me. Because I wanna try and reinstall Windows on it, because I got somebody who wants to buy it. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do. So, let's rock and roll. Oh, I really wish I would have started up my car earlier, for sakes. Currently it's minus three out, 3.30, and uh, she's cold in here. Wish I would have pre-started it, let it warm up a little bit before I friggin' hammered that. Huh, wanna see something hilarious? There's a crusty old phone book on my friggin' front step here, and uh, I don't know why they're putting it there, but they are. And I guess it got soaked from the snow, cause it inflated and blew the plastic right off of it. Son of a bitch. Well, I'm gonna have to throw that in the garbage. Oh well, tonight's garbage night, I'll grab it then. But for now, we gotta head off to work. It's rock and roll. Alrighty, people, I'm at work now. It's still bright out. That's how you know I'm still I'm at work and it's not break time. Oh, I didn't bother filming the drive as you can tell. Just didn't feel like it. But uh, yeah, it's just gonna be one of those days. So let's get this day over with. Then tomorrow's theoretically Friday for me. Right on. Six o'clock. Ooh, break time. <clears throat> Freak sakes, got the gas. And um, it's pretty busy when I came into work today. Tons of calls. Freaking four modems to configure and fire out the door. Holy shit! Freaking busy day. Freaking busy day. Tonight, however, I'm not going to the Hortons after work. Gonna go home. Got some uh, stuff I need to get done. Tomorrow, like I said, it's my last day of work for this week. And then it is party time on Friday. So that should be interesting. Yes, I will be filming there. Still need to install the power supply in my freaking Dell XPS 8300. Haven't gotten around to doing that yet. But that's what I need to do because you should feel how hot that thing runs. Holy shit. Just you know the power supply itself. Like, put your hand on the back of the computer and it's like, you can sit a coffee on there and keep it hot. I'm pretty sure I'm running that thing close to peak with that 550 in there. So, probably should uh, consider doing that upgrade soon. Yep, but I was reading on some forums, some people tried to put the 600 series video cards in those XPS uh, 8300s and they weren't having any luck. Apparently the motherboard doesn't support some chipset or something and Dell hasn't released an update for it. Instead they released the 8500 which has that fix. Those sons of bitches. Which is probably why a bunch of people say to me, you know Adam, you really should have built your own PC. And you're probably right, but you know what, the price? It was 850 bucks for an i7-2600 and I put a friggin' hundred dollar video card into it and it plays all the games I throw at it, so what the frick? you know not a big deal I just want a little bit more video processing jam because I want to try video rendering through a video card through CUDA cores or through CL cores you know but uh, with the video card I have now it only has like 192 cores so it's actually slower for me to send the video through the the CUDA versus sending it through the i7 so that's why I sent it through the i7 and I disable GPU rendering this nerdy moment was brought to you by this guy 
And seeing how I plan on using that old Sony TV that I bought for 20 bucks off Buddy Van Dudo as a monitor in that room, I was looking around and I was thinking about buying one of those uh, monitor stands that you can bolt to a desk. But you think I can find them anywhere? Holy shit, they're hard to find. I was gonna check Deal Extreme, but eh. You know, always question the quality because that tripod I got from there was kind of kife. But uh, I managed to fix it, but it was broken when I got it, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to look around and see what I can find for a nice monitor stand that'll hold up to a 30 inch TV because that thing's pretty heavy. It's a lot heavier than a monitor, that's for sure. Could always build one, but you guys saw my welding skills and how bad they suck. I don't need it to swivel, I just need it to hold the monitor off the friggin' table, you know? And then later on, I want to purchase a Mac Mini and put that in there and use that to edit the vlogs instead of the Dell and then I can save the Dell for playing video games and stuff like that so when I'm done the vlog I don't have to sit there and wait for it to render because I don't like doing stuff on my computer when I'm rendering a video I like to focus the processor's attention on nothing but Sony Vegas and I'd like to try out that Final Cut Express because uh, stupid me I went and bought it when, when it first came out because it was on super sale installed it on my MacBook and the son of a bitch didn't work because my MacBook's too old so well, I'm thinking about getting the new Mac Mini because they're actually pretty good and uh, I'll probably scoop that up for a freaking, well, not dirt cheap, but you know, I could scoop that up and then uh, be ready to rock and use that for editing the vlogs and then save the XPS 9, uh, 8300 for playing video games and doing the other things while I'm waiting for my vlog to render. I think that'd be a pretty sweet idea, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just tossing ideas around. Nothing's firm. Nothing's nothing's in place. I know. I'm already waiting for the comments from people saying, holy shit, dude, just like spend money like crazy stuff. I'm reinvesting into the videos, people. That's what I do. Break is over. I got to head her back inside. It's getting chilly out and it's somewhat snowing. A little bit of dusting. Probably gonna piss on Saturday let me tell you yup well it's 10 30 break time I didn't bother filming on my lunch but uh, yeah I went over to the store to get some energy drinks to try and stay awake and uh, noticed they had Twinkies on sale holy shit so I thought wow this is a rarity I better get some before they're gone for good so I bought a pack of Twinkies you know I told the store manager that oh yeah I heard these things are going tits up and hostess is shutting her down and all that and then I find out no that's only happening in the States we're still gonna get them in Canada. Go team us. Another awesome reason to be a Canadian. You know, that's if you like Twinkies, but I like Twinkies. So, so far tonight, it's been pretty easy going. Like I said, it was busy when we first came in, but then it slowed down, so I kinda dig that. I don't even need a shovel to dig it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just been chilling out and getting shit dead. So I actually fired up that heater in the garage. I just used a match and she kicked over. Friggin' went to go pour more kerosene in. Thought it was, cause uh, Rex told me when he was transporting it over that uh, the kerosene spilled out into the back of the caddy. And I was like, son of a bitch. And so I thought it was out of kerosene, so I pulled the friggin' container out and went to reload it. Friggin' thing was half full. I was like, Pfft. I'm just gonna burn that off, then I'll reload it with fresh stuff right on. So it actually works really, really well. Actually, works too well, I should say. Um, takes no time for that heater to heat up the garage. It's way too big for that garage. And uh, I think this winter, if we do live shows, we won't be freezing off. Our ours is off. It'll be nice. So I'll probably put it behind us by the garage door and then leave the uh, opening door on the side open. That way, there we get fresh air coming in and uh, the heat and all that. It'll be nice. It'll be freaking awesome. So, yep, if we do anything out in the garage this winter, we won't have to freeze. It'll be freaking sweet. But anywho, on that note, my break's almost done. So, I'm going to head her back inside. Next time I talk to you guys, it's when I get the frig out of here. So, we'll talk to you later. Thank God, people. One more day to go. It's midnight. Minus 8 degrees Celsius out. 12.01 a.m. Let's get the frig out of here. Jeez, that moon looks like Felix's eye when I tell him no food. All angry like. Alrighty, well I'm home, and before I forget, I'm putting the garbage at the end of the road, because that can is full, and it's heavy, and it's gotta go. So let's give her. Friggin' mission complete. Right on. I'm home now. Look at me, I'm home. Garbage is out, work shift is done. It's time to shut her down, get this editing done, go sippy times, and then we'll uh, carry on tomorrow. So, tomorrow is my Friday, but it's actually Thursday. But forget it, it's my Friday. So yeah, can't wait for that. So if you liked today's video, you know what to do. Go ahead and hit the like button. Let's me know you like the video and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns about today's video, you know where to leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, people, keep on vlogging. Send whatever the check's value is and give you the rest. They really screw you over. So but they'll cash any check out there. Won't put a hold on it either. And uh, but that's what he would do is he would just go to the money mart and basically cash a check and you know oh well he lost 10 percent he didn't really give a shit but uh, he would that's how he would cash his, his, his Google earnings so yeah it's it's kind of brutal now because now they want bank account information which means anybody who doesn't have a bank account is gonna have and on AdSense is gonna have to go out and get a bank account now how does that differ from being on a network well on a network we get paid through PayPal like we get the money PayPal to us unless you're a U.S. citizen then you can get a direct deposit into your bank account but being a Canadian I have to get everything done through PayPal so at my PayPal I have it set to deposit money.
money to my bank account, so not a big deal. It takes a little bit longer.